Hi, my name is Parsa Vahid, president and owner of Strand Life Financial Group. Today I want to talk to you guys about a subject that most people tend to shy away from, and that's life insurance. We'll be talking about who absolutely, positively needs life insurance coverage, and who probably needs life insurance but may not realize the need for it. Next, we'll talk about some of the different types of policies that exist. And lastly, I want to talk about some of the key features and benefits of life insurance policies that most people may not realize, even current policyholders. Let's get started. So when I sit down with my clients and we're trying to determine a need for life insurance, I simply ask a question. Do you either love somebody or owe somebody? Let's unravel that first part, loving someone. Most people think of life insurance as an income replacement policy. And in fact, that's most reasons why someone would take one out. Imagine you are a father of two small kids and the family relies on your income. You would want to take out a life insurance policy to make sure that, God forbid, something were to happen to you, the family can still maintain a certain quality of life uh, financially. Very straightforward. We won't talk about that too much. What I really want to focus on is owing somebody. For business owners, this is really a topic that most business owners don't plan for. When you own a business and you have multiple partners within that business, if one of those owners passes away unexpectedly, what happens? Well, generally speaking, that person's estate or spouse oftentimes then becomes owner for their specific share of ownership of the business. If they're a 50% owner, the spouse steps in and becomes 50% owner. Imagine it's a law firm and the surviving owner realizes they're going to have to be partners with the spouse who may or may not know anything about running a business, about law, payroll, benefits, anything. So you generally don't want to be in that situation. What you do is you plan ahead. You sit down with your partner and you create a buy-sell agreement which states if you were to pass away you promise to sell your share of ownership to me and I promise to buy that share of ownership from your spouse or your estate. This is known as a buy-sell agreement. And how those buy-sell agreements are funded is always with life insurance. The next type of life insurance policy that's really important for business owners to know about is key man life insurance. So how this works is imagine you're a business owner again and you've got key employees that are very, very important to you, meaning if they were to leave you for a competitor or unexpectedly pass away, it would be devastating to your bottom line. So you have a few options. You can own a, your business, I should say, should, would own a key man policy on the insured and they would also be the beneficiary of that policy. So you sit down with your key staff and you say, listen, you're very important to the longevity of our company. We want to reward you with something additional outside of your normal salary and, and commission. So what we're going to do is, as long as you stay with us for 5, 10, 20, it doesn't really matter. You can structure it however you want and negotiate with your key employees, but let's just say 10 years. As long as you, Mr. Employee, stay with my company for 10 years, at the end of those 10 years, this key man insurance policy that's been generating cash value every single year will then be given to you. And you can walk away from the company with this key man life insurance policy. You can take away the cash or you can use it to uh, provide a legacy for your children. So key man life insurance is very, very important not only to protect you as a business owner, but very important to retain key employees. And we all know in this business and most businesses, having good employees is very, very key to creating a long-standing company. The next part I want to discuss is the different types of life insurance. Really break them down into two parts is really all you need. The first type is term. The second type is perm. Term and perm. Term is for a certain period of time and perm or permanent life insurance is for the length of your life regardless of how long you live. Let's talk about the first part, term. 
So you can have a term policy as little as one year and that would be known as an annual renewable term. Uh, and then you can keep going up and up 10, 20, and all the way up to 30 years. So as long as you uh, are within that 20 or 30 year time period, your beneficiaries would receive the benefits if you were to pass away. If you outlive the term, they get nothing, you lose the policy. Annual renewable terms are actually pretty interesting. Uh, just a quick story about those. A lot of people don't know about them and they're a great way to insure yourself for a very short period of time, sometimes a year or two. And a lot of movie studios actually take these policies out on their movie star. So let's just say Jumanji's coming out, they're filming for the next one or two years and they want to make sure that they're profitable. They're dumping hundreds and millions of dollars into the promotion, into the filming. And so if The Rock or Kevin Hart were to pass away within the time frame of filming, the movie studio would probably lose a lot of money. They would have to go through a lot of changes. So what they'll do is they'll take out an ART or an annual renewable term on the superstar so that they make sure that they're profitable one way or another. The next very common approach to taking out an ART is, let's say again, you're a father of two and you're uh, employed, all of a sudden you get let go, you lose your benefits, so you lose your life insurance or your group coverage through your employer, and you're in between jobs, but you wanna make sure that your family is covered, you would take out an ART to cover you during that transition until you get a new job. Very, very cheap. I can give you real world examples. I just had a kid myself, a year ago when I applied, I got $2 million of coverage at age 33 for $700 a year. So it's very, very cheap, very, very affordable. I highly suggest people with children, if you don't have life insurance, you really, really need to get it to protect your family. The next type of life insurance is permanent coverage. So there's different types of permanent coverage. The most common is whole life. Whole life will pay out as long as you pay those premiums regardless of how long you live. Uh, it's the most conservative type of whole, uh, permanent policy, I should say. It's a very, very expensive. It's generally about 20 times more expensive than term life. So I always sit down with clients and say, listen, if you need coverage for the next 10, 15 years, don't worry about taking out a whole life. Let's just get you some term coverage and let's worry about Perm, if an estate planning needs presents itself or you need to generate cash value. The next type of permanent coverage is universal life and there are different types of UL policies. We won't get into the specifics, but just know with permanent life insurance, there's a couple bells and whistles. These premiums that you put in, they go towards the cost of insurance, but also into an investment sleeve that grows based on either uh, interest rate, uh, mutual fund performance, um, and those uh, cash values, once they accumulate, can be drawn out to supplement retirement. There's a lot of moving parts to it. There's a lot of risk that goes into permanent life insurance. So make sure you sit down with your own financial advisor, go through illustrations, ask questions. Feel free to reach out to us to ask those questions. But just know permanent co coverage, I don't always recommend. It's only for specific, again, type of estate planning needs, business structure needs. If you just need life insurance for protecting your family, get yourself a very cheap term life policy. The last part is about some of the key features and benefits of life insurance. Now, most people don't know this, so I wanted to just spend a couple minutes and discuss them. So with every life insurance policy, you can go through multiple carriers. I always suggest you work with an A or A plus rated insurance carrier just to make sure that the solvency of the insurance carrier is not gonna be an issue. Insurance is pretty conservative, so even if a life insurance company were to go under, odds are other insurance companies will come and buy them out to maintain the reputation of insurance. I wouldn't worry so much about it, but it is something to be cognizant of. If you're looking at maybe a John Hancock versus a Joe Schmo life insurance company and the John Hancock's just a bit more expensive, it's in my humble opinion that you pay the extra to have a big reputable insurance company behind you. The next part is about 
conversion features. So most life insurance carriers provide conversion features. And how that works is, again, let's just use the example that I'm in. I took out a 20-year policy. I've got 19 years left in it. 10 years down the line, if I want to convert the term into PERM or permanent life insurance, I can do so with no medical underwriting. So God forbid I get cancer or diabetes or I gain a ton of weight, I become a smoker, unhealthy, whatever the case. If I become uninsurable or my insurance insurability is becoming worse, I've locked in my good, young, healthy rate when I was 33 and I can use that all the way up until generally about five years before the policy is set to lapse. The next and final part of life insurance is using the permanent life insurance policy to generate you cash value. This is really, really important when you sit down with your life insurance agent is you really structure these policies and run them the way that you think that they're going to perform. You want to be very conservative. We never know what the future may hold, but when you run a conservative illustration, you have much better chances of the policy actually performing the way that it was originally illustrated. So. Um, just wanted to give you guys some basic information on life insurance. There is so much more that goes into it that we just don't have time for. But if you have additional questions, I'm always here. Shoot us a line, drop us a message, and we will get back to you very, very quickly. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned, we're gonna be dropping more videos every single week and next week's topic is gonna to be about retirement planning, retirement plans. So thank you again, we look forward to dropping more content for you guys to enjoy.